Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations everyone. So if memory serves, this will probably be the last episode of Turnabout Memories. Who is ready to send someone to jail? Hopefully oh. to jail. <laughs> and not to hell. And, no, <laughs> this isn't this isn't a like guillotine <laughs> type of This is not the French Revolution. <laughs> no. But they didn't even have the courts, let's be honest. Yeah. Alright, so but we're lawyer. questioning Dahlia about her uh, supposedly poisoning Mia's boyfriend. Mia's boyfriend. Yeah, Mia's boyfriend. Was that Mia's boyfriend? Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that. Even when Grossberg was like, uh, Mia, it I tells us how. I thought it was a typo. I thought it was like it's her boyfriend. I, like I thought this girl had like three boyfriends. And was like, oh. Took out, I thought she was like took out the boyfriend Ace Attorney, took out the bo boyfriend um Doug Swallow, Doug Swallow, and then is going to take out boyfriend Phoenix Wright. You think that's like some Wallace and Gromit form of? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, did I say that? I did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I spent too long on the YouTube, I think. On the YouTube? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> That's some Wallace and Gromit level stuff. Stuff? There. Oh, holy yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, because you didn't really have a reaction. I didn't have a reaction, I was like, Also, she oh, was dating okay. Doug Swallow during the time, I forgot. I thought poison. she was like... Did you think she had two boys friends at the same time? <laughs> two, yeah, I thought she did. How could you even do that? I, I couldn't even mention one girlfriend at one time. What a long time. Well, this girl's... Uh, she cray. Something. She cray cray. I, I, I would say something stronger, but I can't. Because she's preschool boys. Hey, I already had said something, <laughs> so... You're good. What were you talking about with the defense attorney? Well, I... I'm sorry, but that's confidential. HE'S DEAD! <laughs> TELL US! <laughs> Marty's getting really into this. No! <laughs> if, there, if someone's a dead human being, they can't do anything about what you say. So... Yes, but there's police confidentiality oh, in the case. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. You don't have to say. According to the report, you were being interviewed regarding another case. The lawyer said that I... <laughs> the lawyer said I was killed! <laughs> this is great. Maybe take a little more time the to read The lawyer this. was killed. That he wanted to talk about an incident I was caught up in when I was younger. What? How much stuff is this girl? Why don't you tell us what all what that incident was? That has absolutely nothing at all to do with this so, case. Did your sister also drive into whatever and the car burst in flames? I don't know. <laughs> they wouldn't do that twice. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really stupid. Objection sustained. The defense's question is stricken what? from the record. You get involved in a lot of incidences, don't you, Miss Hawthorne? Incidences? <laughs> That's a word! <laughs> yup. <laughs> well, I guess I was just born under a bad sign. Don't worry, Dolly! I'll protect you! <laughs> you heard the man. Now that is true love, young lady. <laughs> oh, Vinny, please. Ugh, those two really are making me ill. Albeit for decidingly different reasons. I left my seat for just a moment, and that's when it happened. Oh, I think this is one of the best presses in the game right here. <laughs> How long were you gone? I already answered all of these questions for the police. But if you must know, maybe 10 or 20 minutes? And where were you during the stretch of time? Using the toilet? What are you saying, <laughs> Miss Faye? <laughs> toilet? My perfect little Dahlia doesn't poop! <laughs> That would be something totally in the magazine for Nintendo Power. Yeah. <laughs> like, introducing Phoenix Wright. My perfect dog. It doesn't. doesn't... <laughs> Seriously, one of the best lines in the game, I think. Wow. You heard the defendant, Miss Faye. Better luck next time. Oh, Phoenix, please. The police have already looked into this whole matter. This line of questioning is nothing but a waste of for the court's time. Objection sustained. Miss Hawthorne, please continue with your testimony. Ugh. So there, there you have it, everyone. Girls don't poop. Uh, well, that's, that's um, <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> if you couldn't tell I was being sarcastic, <laughs> yeah, well, then that's that's a problem. Like Lethal is two teaspoons. Oh, teaspoons. Teaspoons. Tablespoons. Tablespoons. How much liquid is two teaspoons? Mia, do you never cook? 
Apparently, because nobody. I, I was in a chemistry class and. Did you never do a science experiment? <laughs> no, we did. We did experiments. I somehow got paired up with like the two smartest kids in the class. We switched off partners each semester, and the second semester I got like the most brilliant dude. Like he's going places. He's so smart. He was like, "Hey, uh, uh, what's a teaspoon?" Like we had to put a teaspoon of salt in. And I was like, "It's the spoon it's that says." Teaspoon. TSP on it. But he's like, is it tisp or tisp? Is was there like, a B in teaspoon? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I was like, all right. Hmm. But okay. Well, let me see. My bottle of eye drops says that it's half fluid ounce, which is equal to three teaspoons. So it's about two thirds of that amount. The poison was found in the lawyer's mug of coffee. It must have been after I left the table. Someone must have quietly slipped it in there. Oh, you know, just tiptoe, tiptoe. You need a little something for your coffee. <laughs> hey, dude, want some sugar? <laughs> Wink. <laughs> no. I heard it was a very special kind of poison. Ooh. <laughs> How special? A special kind of poison? How so? Well, I heard that it's almost impossible to detect. Oh, and where would something like that come from? I'm sorry, all I know is what I overheard the policeman say. They said something about using advanced chemical processes to purify it. Chemical processes? Well, well, that's quite impressive. Most impressive. The better question is, how did the criminal get something like that? So you see, I'm innocent! I wouldn't know where to get a poison like that. <laughs> and that's the reason they didn't arrest you. Because no one could show how you could have gotten the poison? I think that's a good enough reason, Madam Faye. She's right, and I think we've all had enough of Miss Faye's questions. Hmm. So in essence, the main reason Miss Halford was never arrested for this crime was because no one could show how she could have obtained the poison. Then all we have to do is find a way to establish how she could have gotten some, right? Great. Now just how did a little... Literature. Oh. It's lit. How did a lit student? That has know. very different connotations right now. How did a lit right student now. get a hold of poison? <laughs> no, that wasn't what I was thinking of. I was oh. thinking of, like, lit. Like, the slang. Something's lit, so it's yeah. cool. Yeah, it, doesn't that refer to, like... No. No. Well, it probably well, it doesn't. It probably does. It like, probably does, but... Uh, I know it's used like, oh man, this part is gonna be lit. lit. Yeah, like, that's more what I was thinking I was figuring, like, oh yeah, it's gonna be, like, lit up, y'all. Alert! <laughs> 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 up! <laughs> just, just... <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> I feel like I could say that on my chin. You could, you could. I'll, may, I'll think about it. <laughs> oh, let student get a hold of poison of all Actually, things. now that I drew attention to the fact that it's a bad word, yeah, I'm gonna censor it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Met a lawyer, and there was teaspoons. <laughs> <laughs> there were teaspoons, and I'm innocent. <laughs> That's that's like, like Avatar last year. I was in a painting, painting at sunset. sunset. And you can see I have very large feet. Fifth Avatar reference for this case. Oh gosh. Okay, we need to present some evidence. Yeah. Um, Which state? Sorry, let's go back to the beginning. Okay, nope. And she, just she doesn't for a poop. moment. Okay. And that's when it happened. Okay. Uh it was a liquid poison that's lethal at just two teaspoons. Okay. It was very special. Kind of <laughs> it's like, oh, Ooh. hang on, uh, Diego, you mind? <laughs> Teaspoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you're, good. you're good. Um, next. Drink it all, though. <laughs> I'm innocent. I wouldn't even know. Probably that one. Okay. All right. Um. So you said, well, she knew the pharmacology, guys. <laughs> no, and, you know. <laughs> that would not be it. Um, let's look at Cold Killer X for a second. Oh, no, it doesn't have anything about, like, No, chemicals. it doesn't. Okay, um... No, we don't need that. Necklace? Do, do, do. Can we examine it further? No. Oh, that's... This is not... What is the, in... This is not Rise from the Ashes. What is in the necklace? Because I remember she, it was like, Oh, this necklace is super special. It's something, something. It's a small bottle necklace. Maybe there was, like, poison in that. Maybe. Or maybe it's just filled with all the happy memories. Oh god. Barf. Yeah. Uh, let's look at the newspaper clippings. Oh. Alright, newspaper clipping. Hi. Um, questioning a 19 year old female college student who's sitting with the victim. Yup, okay, never mind. Uh, let's look at this. Police report! Diego, dead! Suspect, Dahlia! 
Armando. Uh, <laughs> Yo, my man Armando just... here. He ingested some poison, y'all. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow, that would be great. Uh, ingested poison. Traces of poison were found in the victim's coffee cup. No poison was found in the vicinity or on the suspect's person. So, no poison was found on Dahlia. Correct? Correct. It's unclear how the poison entered the right. victim's they, coffee cup. So they obviously did like a body search of her and they didn't find it. Well, I mean, if you have poison on you and you finally are able to do your act, you get rid of all of it. Yeah, but the police would have searched Sniffed. around for stuff. Have the poison sniffing dogs. Yeah. <laughs> it's normally for dogs, I I know. <laughs> um, I don't... Maybe she... I mean, she could be totally innocent from that case. I don't know. Maybe. Dahlia, you have... Uh, how many tears have you cried now? Like... Oh, no. 20? I'm so sad. Uh, let's take a look. Maybe... <laughs> maybe we could just... Yeah. Okay, go through. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pharmacology student. Maybe we should just like Google what pharmacology does. <laughs> okay, you yeah. have. Give me your phone. I can look it up. Okay, well, I wanted to. I don't even know what they study. Like, if they study chemicals, it could be like, hey, I have some buddies. Pharmacology, Pharmacology. the branch of medicine concerned with the uses, effects, and modes of action of drugs. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's yeah. like pharmacy stuff. So. But, like, drugs could be poison. Yeah, it's true. So, yeah, that could... You she knows. She knows him. She knows him, yeah. She's like, hey, uh, you're my boyfriend now. Can you supply me some good poison <laughs> drugs? Yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> We don't know her relationship. They could be crazy. Give it a shot. No. I'm gonna be doing that for the whole Let's Play, let's be honest. Perfect. You wouldn't know how to get that kind of poison? I don't believe you. What? In fact, you had easy access to that kind of poison, didn't you? At your boyfriend's lab. But boyfriend You mean the victim, Doug Swallow? That's right. Up until eight months ago, Miss Hawthorne was dating Mr. Swallow. And if you recall, Mr. Swallow was a pharmacology student at Ivy University. Ph ph pharmacology His laboratory contained high advanced chemical or uh, highly advanced chemical equipment. Chemistry. Chemistry equipment. equipment. In fact, without such equipment, the culprit could never have obtained such a rare and special poison. And we get the pursuit theme. Well, Miss Hawthorne, it seems you had access to such a poison after all. And then it was a matter of slipping it into the victim's coffee when he wasn't looking. The only person who could have done that was the one sitting at his very table, you! No! Order! 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 C -c could it be? Th that's nothing but a basal sex! May I say something, Madame Faye? What is it, Ma Mrs. Hawthorne? Mrs. She married me. Ah, Hawthorne! The amount of poison in the coffee was two teaspoons, correct? In order to carry that much liquid, you would need some kind of container. I was right! It's a necklace! It's a necklace! Yes! <laughs> yes! It has to be! Because there's a bottle! <laughs> well, yes, that's true. I was searched immediately after the incident took place. Quite true. In fact, the entire courthouse was turned upside down. She was gone for ten minutes. She could have dumped it down the toilet. <laughs> like, no. So, she <laughs> she could have been like, Poison, left, dumped it down the drain or down the toilet, and then came back and was like, oh wow! That what? happened? What a wow. crazy coincidence! They didn't find a suspicious container anywhere, did they? She's right. They even mentioned that in the report. Well, you could have easily gotten rid of something that small. Excuse me, madam, but this is a court of law. You're saying I threw the poison container away. I think you need to show some kind of proof. Proof? She got me good with that. I I got this. It's gotta be the necklace. <laughs> Provide some evidence or I'll have to disallow this line of questioning, Miss Fay. Okay! Unless we can come up with some evidence, we're going to lose this lead. The police conducted a full body search of Dahlia in the entire courthouse. And yet the container holding the poison disappeared right after the crime occurred. Yeah, she gave it to Phoenix! She's like, oh! Wow! Since you are like a sunflower in the grazing sun, here is your <laughs> Barf. <laughs> she speaks I haiku! Know. Okay. <laughs> if you're going to accuse the young lady of committing the murder, it was not. Okay. <laughs> then where is the container of the poison was carried in? What happened to it? Yeah. 
I was spot on. You were forced to get rid of the container in a hurry, weren't you? And that's why you passed it on to someone that had nothing to do with the case. Someone that you knew wouldn't be searched. Who is this person? Mr. Phoenix Wright, of course. So the defendant was this witness's accomplice? Of course not. She gave the poison to him disguised as a present. What? But, but that's... Hmm. That's a charming little necklace. Is this a little bottle? It's really quite cute. So what about it? What does it mean, Miss Faye? The day that the witness met and fell for Mr. Phoenix Wright was eight months ago. August 27th, the very same day as the poisoning incident. Under the pretense of love, the witness gave my client a present. All for the purpose of hiding that one piece of evidence that would give her away. What? Are you saying there's a deadly poison in here? No, there's no longer any poison in that bottle. However, I'm certain that if the crime lab were to analyze it, they would find a trace amount. No! <laughs> you have the same crying sound effect for all the girls. I can't help it! <laughs> you don't have to have all those syllables at the end. Oh. Oh. <laughs> order! Order in the court! Uh, um... On behalf of Dolly, I object! M Mr. Wright, control yourself! Uh, I won't let you bully her like this! Mr. Wright, I thought I told you to stay in your seat. Mr. Wright, why? Why are you going through so much trouble to protect her? Why? B because... Because I'm madly in love with her! I mean... Hmm, hmm. Madly in love. I haven't heard anyone say that in a long time. Mr. Wright, have you ever thought about this? Why exactly would a woman like Dolly a Hawthorne want to date you anyway? What? <laughs> Whoa! Mia Ooh, is all so the bugs. Okay, she's but savage. She's, but she's like, I gotta get this guy to just get on our side so we can expose this girl. Because what's gonna happen if we let her get away? She's gonna poison him. Or she's gonna, like, kill take, him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you don't want him dead. This is I know. for your best interest at heart. When. Don't ever do this to someone. Don't ever do this to someone. But if someone's in very deadly danger and they're dating someone who could kill them, maybe do this. Maybe. No comment. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess she must be madly in love with me, too. Mr. Wright. Please, open your eyes. At this point in the trial, I think it should be obvious to everyone. The real reason that Dahlia Hawthorne is dating you is... She's madly in love with you because of that necklace to keep you quiet. Uh, one of the last two. <laughs> I have to try all of these. She's mad. <laughs> I have to try all of these. <laughs> Naturally, it's because she's fallen madly in love with you too. See? Just like I told you. M M Mia, are you thinking clearly? <laughs> The, that flies in the face of everything we've learned up to this point. I'm sorry. I don't know why I would even said that. I guess it's because I just like the sound of that phrase, madly in love. <laughs> Miss Faye, you can't remain a starry-eyed maiden for the rest of your life, you know. Please, let me think it over one more time, Your Honor. The real reason that Dahlia Hawthorne is hating no you is... I actually think both of the last two work. Let's try to keep you quiet. Okay. Naturally, it's to keep you quiet. What? To, to keep me quiet? Um, keep me quiet about what? Well, uh... It seems that the rest of us don't quite understand you, Miss Faye. Oh, I thought that would work too. Nor do we understand what this vile secret that Miss Hawthorne holds is. That's because there is no secret, I tell you. Ugh! How dense can you be? <laughs> well, you're the one picking on the wrong choice, Mia. <laughs> I, that's what I thought. Dahlia Hawthorne was not and is not madly in love with you. The only thing she's after is that bottle necklace you love to wear around your neck. My necklace? Back there in the waiting room, you said it yourself. Yeah, but she's so shy. Every time I see her, she always says the same thing to me. Please give it back now. What a strange girl asking for a present. I forgot about that. that. It's been forever since that. That was like that, that was a month ago that we did yeah. that. Yeah. 
For Dahlia Hawthorne, that necklace is irrefutable evidence. Irrefutable, yeah, irrefutable, irrefutable, irrefutable evidence, evidence of her crime. I, it's hard to see your screen sometimes. That's why she absolutely had to get it back. You, you're lying! But you never gave it back to her. And to make things worse for her, you insisted on showing it to everyone you met. It's true. <laughs> That's why she... I don't... I don't believe you. No! Th that's a lie! Ah! Yeah! Did, did you just... Did someone just throw something at him? Maria! Are you alright? Oh, ah, the defendant! He's getting away! Better Wait, hurry after him! Did he just throw something at Mia's face? Mia! Mia! Are you alright? Yes, I... I think so. That boy! He went completely insane! Where... Where's Mr. Wright? It looks like the bailiff caught him, so he should be brought back here soon. Thank goodness. Oh no! What is it? The bottle necklace! Miss Hawthorne's present! It's gone! What?! That's terrible! Mr. Wright must have grabbed it when he slammed into me! Oh, quite- so <laughs> He gets up from the witness stand! No! no! Like, but <laughs> throws her to the ground! That would explain why the bailiff would go catch him! Okay. Foolish boy, that's the only thing that could have saved him. What the blazes are we supposed to do now? <laughs> we'll have a ten minute recess to get Mr. Wright into a cage. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, this sort of behavior is unprecedented in the history of this court. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that your apology is not enough! Mr. Wright, what did you do with the bottle necklace? F forgive me, I, I, I'm sorry. Did he break it in half? It's okay. Just give it back the necklace. I ate it. What? <laughs> You're gonna die! You what? You... you... you ate it? <laughs> it was too big to swallow, so I had to chew it into little bits first, but yeah. Uh... Ah! What the... What? W what is he doing now? Your Honor! You've got to stop the trial! Mr. Wright! Mr. Wright! Are you feeling okay? Does your stomach hurt? That bottle you swallowed may have some poison left in it! <laughs> Pain! This is not the time! No! It seems the defendant has proven the prosecution's case for us. What? Clearly that bottle did not contain a deadly poison. It only would kill you if there were two teaspoons! <laughs> How can you be so sure? <laughs> I think that's obvious. As you can see, the defendant is still very much alive. As for the poison, more like a fledgling defense attorney's overactive oh, imagination. Really? Let's test his bloodstream. I don't know. What? Wait. <laughs> no. You know how you know how when you eat something you can test and see if there's like something in um I don't know. What Are you talking about taking stool samples? No! Like <laughs> You know how it can be like, okay, we're gonna see if this is in your system. Like, if you oh, get this yes. thing in your system. Like, if it's in your stomach. Is that oh. when they send a camera down you? I think so. I don't okay. really know don't a lot know. about medical stuff. I don't either. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you don't check their bloodstream for that. Their bloodstream. <laughs> well, you know how, like, stuff can be in their bloodstream if you, I don't know. If you had stuff. Smoke? Yeah. <laughs> you smoke. That's what I was thinking of. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he smoked necklace. <laughs> Smoke necklace every day. <laughs> no, I'm just imagining him, like, getting so mad, then turning on the barbecue, like, getting in a nice smoke color. <laughs> How much time did he have? <laughs> Ten minutes while the bailiff caught him. <laughs> so it would seem. No, there must be some mistake. The bottle must not have had any poison left in it. Either that or the poison must have lost its potency. There, there. It's all right, rookie. Trusting your client is the most noble thing a defense attorney can do. And it's heartwarming to see that you place this much faith in Mr. Wright. But that's how it is for us on the prosecution side, too. For example, I would trust the witness, Miss Hawthorne, with my very life. You should. Which is why I can state that your assessment of her is completely wrong. That's enough. 
Unfortunately, Miss Fay, I cannot accept your explanation of the events. But why? This may be impossible for a beginner like you to understand, but in a court of law, evidence is everything. <laughs> what if I did that? <laughs> I was gonna say present evidence, but I didn't think she was gonna say that. Even though I've proven so much, is she going to get away with everything? Well, now that the suspicion surrounding Miss Hawthorne can, has been cleared up, I would like to proceed with the trial. Thank you, Phoenix Wright. M Mr. Wright! I'm sorry, Miss Faye. It totally slipped my mind. Sure. I'm really, really sorry. I know you believed in me, and I feel like I really let you down. Mr. Wright, what are you trying to say? Um, there's something I forgot to tell you. What is it? My girlfriend is a vampire. That day, the day I met Doug Swallow. Oh yeah, this special little cutscene. That girl. You shouldn't see her anymore. Hey! It's none of your business! I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. Y you're lying! Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Last night, someone stole some poison from our lab. And it was her, you know? P poison The same thing happened eight months ago. A drug sample was stolen. She came to the lab that time, too. It could only have been her. That girl is a thief. S stop it! D don't talk about her like that! Poor dude. Literally just yeah. trying to, like, just like, hey, heads up. Is it true? Did he really say that? that? That's ridiculous! There's one more thing. After I pushed him that day, I got worried and came back to have a look. And she was there. Dolly was right there. She was crouched down next to him. What?! She told me not to ever tell anyone about it, but- What?! Okay! I'm sorry, Dolly! Your Honor, this is the defendant is Miss Fay. You tell them. D Dolly didn't do it. Sh she's innocent. What are you? So Dolly is still poison eight months ago too, huh? If you put that together with Mr. Wright's testimony, then there's only one possible conclusion. The defense believes that Miss Dolly Hawthorne stole some poison on the night before she killed Doug Swallow. The night before? Naturally, her motive for stealing was to kill someone. Miss Fay. If you're so certain of your theory, then let me ask you this. Mia, yeah, this is your last chance. Think carefully now. There's something that she desperately wanted to get back, therefore... Exactly who was Miss Dahlia Hawthorne planning to kill? Obvious. Being right. Eh? There was one person that she was standing squarely- there was one person that was standing squarely in Miss Dahlia Hawthorne's way. And that person was... Mr. Phoenix Wright! M m m m m me Th That's preposterous! After all, it was Doug Swallow that was murdered! Well, it's true that that's how things worked out. But, let's remember that Mr. Swallow died of electrocution, not poison. The person that Miss... Hawthorne was planning to poison was, in fact, you, Phoenix Ray. There's no one else that it could have been. But, but how can that be? I, I thought Mr. Wright and Miss Hawthorne were in love. Poor Mr. Wright. This must be killing him. Hang in there. I'll bring her to justice, I swear it. As I said before, the only thing Miss Hawthorne truly cared about was the one piece of evidence linking her to the incident eight months ago. That's right. The bottle necklace. That's all she cared about. But even so, why? Why would she go so far as to murder him? Eight months ago, just after the fall of that attorney in the basement cafeteria, Dahlia Hawthorne could, have, could think of only one thing. How to get rid of the bottle necklace as quickly as possible. N no, it can't be. It was a pretty good move that she made too. The evidence was missing for a long time. But there's just one big problem. Although she got him to hide the evidence, Mr. Wright refused to return it to her. 
To him, the tiny little bottle was a cherished treasure. He even showed it to everyone he met. You, you mean, th that's why she tried to kill Mr. Wright? Correct, Your Honor. It was to retrieve that piece of evidence. Th 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 that can't be true! Phoebe, what a joke you are. Oh, there she is! What, what lovely stature! <laughs> What lovely- her eyes are so much darker. Oh, yeah. Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? I even told you time and time again to keep your trap shut about me and that necklace. You disgust me! Miss Hawthorne? It appears that this trial will be coming to an end soon. Fine, I can tell you plan to make me into a criminal no matter what I say. You are a criminal, Miss Hawthorne. We'll see about that. But first, where's your evidence? Seems you're snively. How can you not read that? There's nothing on the screen. See? Snively. Snively. Yes, it's snively. I haven't read that word much. Seems you're snively. Use your phonics. Sometimes the English language is weird. I agree, but that's pretty basic how to pronounce. Snivelline. Snivelline. <laughs> little crybaby of a client. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great voice for her. Little crybaby yeah, little cry baby baby of a client. client. I am a robot. <laughs> <laughs> little crybaby of a client. And eating the bottles of snack. Ugh. Well, um. Hey, old man. Are you senile or something? Why don't you say something instead of sitting there with that dumb look on your face? Miss Hawthorne, what's happened to you? <laughs> Are you really that shocked? Or do you prefer me this way, Mr. Judge? The butterflies return. <laughs> With absolutely no proof, you treat a voluntary witness that, like she's a mass murderer. Well, I have nothing more to say. I'll be heading home now if you don't mind. But, but you're not finished. Fine. Then ask this nasty old hag to finish up already. That fate, that is a creepy pose, holy cow. That's this nasty old hag to finish up already. <laughs> now she's the chain smoker. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys! <laughs> Gotta Can't smoke! Can't we get away this time? Stop, Mia! If you keep on pushing without any evidence, you could pay the ultimate price as a lawyer. The ultimate price? You'd be forced to take off your attorney's badge forever, I'm afraid. Ugh, no! You'd better think it over carefully, Miss Twain. Or should I say, Miss Gray. She's like 26! Yeah. <laughs> She's way prettier than you are. <laughs> oh. Well, Miss Fay, can you provide evidence that would establish her guilt once and for all? Well... <laughs> Well, well, that's what I thought. Of. <laughs> if I mess up here, my career as a lawyer is over. But to be honest, at this point, I don't have any evidence that's well founded. Even so, I'd rather lose my attorney's badge than let her get away with murder. Your Honor, the defense would like to present proof. I impossible! You can't possibly. Stupid woman. It is the opinion of the court that there has already been enough discussion. Therefore, I will allow only one piece of evidence to be presented. Uh, that's not... Just one? If you are unable to establish her guilt, then I'm afraid that a very harsh verdict will immediately be handed down on Mr. Wright, even though there's basically no proof that he did anything at any At all. I understand, Your Honor. I can just imagine the headlines for tomorrow's newspaper. Up-and-coming lawyer plummets to Earth before she gets the chance to soar. She was planning to poison Mr. Wright. If that's the case, then the poison was probably in there. Well then, Miss Fay, please present your evidence. Show to this court irrefutable proof that Miss Hawthorne was planning to poison Mr. Wright. Cool Killer X! Probably not. Here it is, Your Honor. The evidence that will prove her guilt once and for all. Cold Killer X? Phoenix Wright's beloved cold medicine. Does our rookie defense attorney have a bit of a cold? If I did, I still wouldn't take this cold medicine. 
After all, it's been poisoned. What? what? Remember what the defense said. Uh, the defendant said in his testimony. But I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. I always eat with Dolly, just the two of us. She was the one who took his bottle of Cool Killer X. Then she poisoned it, knowing that Mr. Wright was going to take some. Now you're really grasping at straws! After all, it was the victim, Doug Swallow, that was holding the medicine. I would like to thank the court. I would like the court to recall the ins the crime that happened here eight months ago. I need to just talk once all the text is on the screen. Yeah, that would be good, <laughs> Marty. Don't try to predict what the text is because, going to say. Well, but I want it to be in time so that way it's not like I have to read it and then everyone reads it and then everyone hears it so then they don't care about what we have to say. But it would probably be worse if I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's taking three <laughs> times longer this way because you're messing up then having to repeat it and then we're talking about you having to repeat it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Where did Miss Hawthorne hide the evidence? Granted, I'm at an advantage because I know the text. Yeah, you do. Huh? What are you talking about? Eight months ago, the poison was hidden in her bottle necklace, which she then gave to someone else for safekeeping. Someone she had accidentally run into in the reading room. My client, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes, that's right. She did the same thing that this time as well. After shoving the victim, Mr. Phoenix Wright left the scene of the crime. That is when the murderer, Dahlia Hawthorne, appeared. With her, she was carrying the poison bottle of Cold Killer X. This, of course, was so she could carry out her plan to murder Mr. Wright. Hmm, I believe she did testify that she was going to meet with the defendant. Yes, and she had heard and saw everything that happened at the scene of the crime. Including what the defendant and the victim were arguing about, and the cut electrical cable. That's when she realized, I can't allow Doug Swallow to live! She used the severed electrical cable to slice him, or silence him forever. Also slice him, perhaps. Not how cables work. Unfortunately for her, this is when the problem occurred. Mr. Wright, who she thought had left the scene, came back to check on the victim. And on top of that, because of the power outage, some students showed up as well. It's hard, it's hardly any wonder that she was, as she put it, in a state of panic. Recall that she was carrying the bottle of poison cold medicine. She must have thought, what if they searched me like they did eight months ago? Yeah, eight months ago? Yes, she disposed of the evidence exactly the same way as she did back then. She had someone else hold it, in this case, Doug Swallow. Never date crazy kids. <laughs> oh, come on now, everyone. Surely you aren't fooled, are you? This stupid woman, she's nothing but a filthy, stinking liar. Right, Mr. Prosecutor? <laughs> Cue the butterflies. <laughs> huh? Uh, yes, that's exactly right. It's just pure desperation. <laughs> which one of us is the desperate one. So, Miss Hawthorne, this cold medicine, I wonder if you wouldn't mind taking some. Well, Mr. Wright ate that necklace of yours, right? Now it's your turn to prove your innocence. What do you say? If I'm just a filthy, stinking liar, then there's no need to worry. So come on, show us! I dare you to take some of this medicine right now! Mia Fey! Mia Fey! Do you think you won? Well, do you, Mia Fey? Not the voice I was thinking for, but alright. I just was reading. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's just fine. For the time being, victory is yours. For the time being? Well, I have a very long memory, you know. You and I will meet again. I'm certain of it. Well then, Mr. Judge, I'll see you later too, okay? Huh? Er, uh, why, um, yes? I'm going to go spend a little quality time with the men in blue now. I wish you all the best.
You're the devil in disguise. All I could think of was the Blue Man Group. What? Oh. <laughs> the Men in the Blue. Men in blue. <laughs> the Blue Man Group. Woo! Yeah, they're performing. Woo! It's finally all over. I... I refuse to accept this! The defense hasn't shown a scrap of evidence to support their outrageous claim! But, but even so, your witness seems to have accepted it. I don't care! I'm Winston Payne! And I don't believe one word that this rookie's head lawyer has said! Well then, Mr. Payne, let me ask you this. Y yes Would you care to try this cold medicine? What?! Just a little earlier, I could have sworn you said... There, there. It's all right, rookie. For example, I would trust the witness, Miss Hawthorne, with my very life. <laughs> so, if she's so trustworthy, then I'm sure there couldn't possibly be any poison in here, right? Uh, well, um, you see, um, y yes. And here comes the backpedal. Come on now, rookie killer. Show this rookie how it's done. How much trust do you really have for this woman? Are you willing to bet your life? <laughs> yeah! My hair! It's flying off! My beautiful hair! No! 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 no, no. And that's how P Winston Payne became bald. <laughs> I think he just lost his toupee, actually. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> From screaming? Um, Mr. Payne, about Miss Dahlia Hawthorne? Y yes your honor I'll file papers for her immediate arrest. Hmm, tragic, but not surprising. I knew there was something suspicious about her from the very beginning. Don't lie, just admit you were wrong. By the way, Miss Fay. Yes, your honor. You said earlier that you and Miss Dahlia Hawthorne knew each other? Your Honor, how we knew each other had nothing to do with this case. Hmm, very well. Uh, Mr. Payne? This can't be happening! It's a nightmare! It's like losing to my daughter! <laughs> <laughs> it appears Mr. Payne has lost his spirit along with his hair. Does the defendant have anything further to say? It, it can't be true, but my dear... Dolly! That's you! <laughs> <laughs> hmm, very well then. I believe I'm ready to pass judgment and bring this trial to an end. Thank God. The court finds the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Guilty. Ah, <laughs> guilty! Yeah! Woo! Thanks, Gumshoe. Yeah, everybody is happy. This court is adjourned. Cool. April 11th, 3.16 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number three. Mia, you were wonderful in there. Thank you for everything, Mr. Grossberg. During the verdict, I thought my hemorrhoids were going to explode like Mount Vesuvius. Um, Mr. Grossberg, do you, um, maybe think you could stop talking about them? Hmm, that's rather rude. No, it is not. Anyway, this case has really made me think. What does it really mean to have a relationship of mutual trust with the client? Perhaps it is we veteran lawyers who have lost sight of this. Oh, Mr. Wright. Uh, congratulations! Thanks. Um, you know, I was thinking... Go on. The dolly I saw up there on the witness stand? I don't think that was really her! Um, what? Yeah, the dolly I knew could never have said those kinds of terrible things. Maybe, maybe she was like, I don't know, a fake or something. Boy, this poor kid still hasn't got a clue. You need to forget about her, Mr. Wright, for your own sake. Yeah, you're right. That's probably for the best. Also, you need to relax a bit more. Try to grow up a little. But, but, out of all my friends, everyone says I'm the most grown up! Ugh, what kind of company must this guy keep? Right now, I, I'm i studying to become a lawyer myself. That's what you kept saying. But I thought you were in the art department. Well, yeah, I guess I am. But there's a friend that I desperately want to help. And if I hurry, then I should still be able to save him in time. I see. Say, Miss Fay, a lawyer is someone who can help people when they're in trouble, right? Mr. Wright, I'm still new at this myself. But I think that's exactly what a lawyer is. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'll study my butt off. I'll become a lawyer for sure. I hope... 
I hope we see each other again someday. Maybe even in court. You know, prosecutor and, and defense. Ha! Ha! It's been five years since I was acquitted of all charges. I became a lawyer like I planned and managed to save my friend. But Mia has passed on to a better place. Yeah. That was, yep. For me, this trial brings up a lot of painful memories. But it also brings up some very precious ones. And memories that I thought would never rise to the surface again. <laughs> Mia's gone now. But even so, I can hear her in my mind. Phoenix, no matter what, always believe in your client. In a court of law, your greatest weapon is your belief. I can talk in the mind. <laughs> <laughs> Five long years. Something has happened that's made me think back to her words of wisdom. But that's a story for another day. What? That's lame. Turn about memories. See, the I end. thought it would have been better if at the end, like, he's, ju he's just telling and recalling the whole story to mind. She's like, this is so boring! Why would anybody want to do this? Like, play this! <laughs> well, episode two, the, s <coughs> the stolen turnabout. Somebody stole... Phoenix writes um, a tyranny's, attorney's badge and is The case, pretending. Carmen San Diego has stolen all the recipes for salsa in Mexico. Nobody can remember how to make salsa now. It's Phoenix like, Wright, get on it. Phoenix Wright, the co right now our suspect is Ivana B. Rich. You gotta defend her. <laughs> Anyhow, oh, we're gonna do episode two, The Stolen Turnabout. Next episode of Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Thanks everybody for watching. Case 2 is one of my favorite second cases in oh. the series. It's very well done, I'd say. Oh, cool. It's a, it's a, it's a fan favorite. So oh, nice. All look right. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. I promise not to swear anymore in the future videos. <laughs> <laughs>